In this video we're having a look at how many arrangements or we'll call them words we can make from the letters of the word committee. So there are nine letters that we can pick out and we're after a four letter word. Now we need to be mindful that there could be repeated letters. So what we can see here is that the word com, C-O-O-M, when you rearrange the two M's, which do exist in the words committee, the end result's exactly the same. So we need to be mindful of this when we look at the different options. So what we'll look at is what are the possible things that could occur when we take four letters out of the word committee to form a new arrangement. One thing that could occur is that there's no repeating letters, for example, C-O-M-I. Another thing could be one pair of repeating letters, like we saw earlier, we could have two M's. And we could have two repeating letters. For example, we could have double M and double T forms one four letter arrangement. So let's look at the case where we have no repeating letter. That means we're picking four letters from the possible set being C, O, M, I, T and E. We're choosing four from six. Of course, there are three more letters. That's the M, the T and the E and we're choosing none of those three. So there are two combinations we need to consider in our calculation. So our first calculation involves choosing four letters from six, and then once we've chosen those, finding the way we can rearrange those four letters. And what that comes down to as a calculation is six choose four. That gives us our possible selections of four letters. And then we multiply that by four factorial because we're rearranging them all those different ways, four factorial ways, and that calculation gives us 15 multiplied by 24, and that comes to 360. So that tells us if we pick out four letters from the word committee, and we make sure there's no repeats of the letters, there are 360 ways of arranging those letters into a four letter word. Now let's have a look at what happens if there is one repeating letter. So it could be one of double M or double T or double E. So first up, we need to choose one from those three pairs. Once we've done that, we know that there are two more spots remaining which are filled by individual or different letters. As an example, if we chose MM, that means we need to choose two from the remaining letters, not including M, of C, O, I, T, and E. And then once we've done that, we need to find the arrangement of all those four letters so that it represents all the different possible words that can occur. In terms of a calculation, we write that as follows. 3 choose 1, that's remember choosing one of the three pairs, M, M, T, T, or E, E. Then we choose two from the remaining five letters that fill the two different letters. And then once we've done that, we multiply by four factorial because that's all the different arrangements of the four letters. But we do have to divide by two factorial because there's a double up. So we need to consider the fact that letters like MM, for example, if they're repeated and rearranged, they still represent the same word. So performing that calculation, we can see that 3 choose 1 is 3, 5 choose 2 is 10, 4 factorial is 24, and going through and doing the calculation, 3 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 24 divided by 2 equals 360. Finally, we have to consider what if there's two pairs of repeating letters, for example, MMTT or MMEE. In this case, we're choosing two pairs from a possible three. So the way that we do the calculation is we say it's three choose two, that's choosing the two pairs of letters from the three possible ones, multiply it by four factorial for all the different arrangements of the letters, but then dividing by two factorial because we have a pair of letters which are the same, and then doing the process again of dividing by two factorial because there's two pairs of letters the same. That calculation leaves us with three multiplied by 24 divided by two divided by two, which is equal to 18. Now that we've looked at the three separate cases that can occur when we're choosing letters from the word committee to form four letter words, we need to look at a way to actually achieve the total. Now because each case, in other words, four letters not repeated all the way through to two pairs of letters repeated are separate, in other words, they can't occur together, what we'll do is we'll add the totals that we got before to achieve the total number of ways. So what we get is 360 plus 360 plus 18, and that comes to 738.